I think when it comes to sustainability or the, the transformation towards sustainability, the products we used to do in 2017, 100% of them produced carbon dioxide. Now we could lean back and say that's um, not our fault. Um, it's our customers that are using that. That is too easy in today's life. I think we carry the responsibility, we share the responsibility of our customers and therefore we had to change the agenda. And this is why we set up our strategy RRPS 2030, our transformation, three pillars to that. But this wasn't enough. We had to change the organization. And so we launched in the midst of the COVID pandemic in 2020, a massive program to reorganize our company into four business units, two classical business units that are providing solutions for mobile and for stationary applications, one business unit dedicated for China, and the fourth business unit solely dedicated for sustainable products. Why did we choose this rather unusual path? Very clearly, we wanted a group of people that walks into the business on Monday morning and that has nothing in mind but to develop sustainable products because we have to overcome massive challenges. We have to convince stakeholders inside the company, outside of the company, that this is the, ri the right path we are on. We have to convert dozens of products into sustainable products in the years to come. And I really wanted to have organizational focus. That was one of the reasons why we launched Empower 2030. And then we also at Rolls-Royce, starting at the group level, like many other companies, defined a roadmap towards net zero. The group has deals in aerospace and that's long cycle business. So even if there were to be a change today, it will take many, many years until the customers will get net zero carbon products in their hands. Now for power systems, this is a bit different because our business cycles are much shorter. So what we do today, three, four, five years later, I can see change in, um, in the products that we bring to our customers. And that's why for power systems, we gave ourselves a very aggressive target that by 2030, we will reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by minus 35% compared to the year 2019. That's a really tough target. Yeah.